Dogs can lose their hair for a number of reasons. If you notice your dog losing hair, um, you definitely want to seek veterinary advice. It's probably nothing to be concerned about, but you never know. Um, some dogs lose hair because of stress and anxiety. It could be a skin issue, um, some type of skin infection. Um, it could be from scratching. Uh, if your dog has like fleas or uh, dry, itchy skin and they scratch a lot, they could lose hair that way. So there are a number of reasons why um, the, obviously, to stop the hair loss, you need to treat the underlying condition, which can be done with home remedies. Uh, again, I always recommend seeing a veterinarian. That's always your best bet, and I say that for two reasons. One, because it's the quickest and most effective, which is better for you and your dog. You don't have to watch them suffer with whatever ailment they have, um, and your dog obviously gets healthier and happier much faster. So I always recommend seeking the advice of a veterinarian. But if you think you know what the issue is or you just wanna try a home remedy for one reason or another, um, maybe it's a budget issue or time thing, um, there are a few different home remedies that have proven to be really effective. The first is apple cider vinegar, and I know um, if you frequently watch my videos, you know I recommend this for a lot of things, but apple cider vinegar is really a wonderful supplement to add to your diet as well as your dog's diet for overall health and well-being. It's great internally and externally. Um, it has been shown to have antibacterial, antifungal, and antiviral properties, which makes it a really great treatment if it's uh, some type of bacteria or fungus that's causing uh, a skin reaction and causing your dog to lose hair. Um, yeast, uh, hot spots, things like that may be able to be treated with apple cider vinegar at home. Um, you don't want to use it directly on the skin just 100% apple cider vinegar because uh, it's so acidic and it could actually uh, be harmful to your dog's skin. So you want to mix it uh, about 50-50 with water. You can put it in a spray bottle and it's really easy to apply that way. You'll just spray down your dog two or three times a day, spray his whole body, um, or if you notice it's one particular affected area, you can just spray that area, but spray well around the area just in case there's um, you know issues underneath the hair that you can't see. Um, so spray around the area, spray your dog's whole body, and just work it in, work it down through the coat, make sure it gets to the skin. Um, and again, you know, those antibacterial, antifungal properties will help to kill um, any of the, uh, the bacteria or fungus that are causing an issue um, and helping you know, with the hair loss. So um, that is one quick fix. You should not use it if your dog has open wounds. Again, it is really acidic, so um, it could be painful in that sense. Coconut oil, uh, again, if you watch my videos, you know I recommend it quite frequently. Uh, another product that has been found to have natural antifungal, antibacterial properties. So it's uh, really great to use topically or orally. Uh, in this case, if your dog is having some type of skin reaction, you would use it topically. Um, you can apply it to the affected area and work it down. If there is some hair still left, you wanna just make sure you work it all the way down to the skin and cover the area. One of my favorite things about coconut oil is that it can actually help to heal wounds and abrasions. So if you do if your dog has been scratching, if there is an open wound, um, it actually can disinfect the area and help to promote healing. So it's uh, really great to use no matter what type of condition your dog's skin is in, um, unlike apple cider vinegar, which can't be used if your dog has any open wounds. You can apply it topically. You can also feed it orally. Um, and I actually recommend adding coconut oil to your dog's diet, whether they have a skin condition or not, because it is so beneficial both internally and externally. Uh, you can feed it, uh, depending on your dog's size, again, about a quarter of a teaspoon up to one full teaspoon for large dogs, and just add it onto their meal. My dogs will eat it plain. It has a nice uh, aroma of, of coconut, so they find it to be appealing, and they'll eat it right off of a spoon that, um, you know, as a treat, but of course you can uh, just melt it and mix it over their food as well if that's easier. Um, another thing about applying that one topically is if your dog licks it, uh, you know, it doesn't do any damage. It's actually beneficial because they're ingesting it and getting um, the benefits of it orally as well. So no worries about that. Um, and then vitamin E oil, you can find this in pretty much any pharmacy, um, even in the pharmacy section of big box stores. 
It uh, can be applied topically to your dog's skin. It'll help heal faster. Vitamin E is an antioxidant that defends against free radicals in the skin, so it's good for their um, immune system, heart health, liver health as well, um, and of course overall skin and coat health. So um, this is something that could be added to their diet as well. There will be serving instructions on the packaging depending on um, the oil that you use um, and the strength of the oil that you purchase. And finally, lemon juice, uh, something that most of us have on hand, um, or you can get a lemon at any grocery store. So it has great antibacterial properties naturally due to the citric acid that it contains. Um, it's not as helpful in treating hair loss if there is bacterial growth, which is why um, the first two things I recommended were the apple cider vinegar and coconut oil. If there is uh, bacteria, no, these are great choices, um, but you know, lemon juice can also be effective and it might be easier to find at a grocery store or to have on hand. It also smells a lot better than um, apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar sort of leaves your dog smelling kind of stinky. So you can infuse a, a quart of warm water with some lemon slices, let it sit for about five hours, and um, then you have a, a lemon juice mixture that you can use on your dog. You wanna just make sure that you shake it before every use. And um, same way with the apple cider vinegar mixture, just spray it on your dog, work it down to the skin, um, and that can be a much better smelling alternative to the apple cider vinegar. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. You can also click the link below this video to see the science behind uh, all of these home remedies and why they're effective at treating dog hair loss.